Hi there everybody, this is Steve Carson with Pen Fishing Tackle. Welcome to Tackle Tip Thursday. And today we're going to talk about a, a rig that not everybody is going to get to use. Only you very, very fortunate anglers who get to go out on the searcher on a six day trip or longer. That means you're going to be much further down the Baja Peninsula and you're going to be encountering, hopefully, knock on wood, much, much larger yellowtail than you're going to catch anywhere near home. And there's a very specific rig that you need to use that may be used at day or night because the big yellowtail love to feed at night and that is the dropper loop rig and maybe specifically the extra heavy dropper loop rig. What I've got here is my pen fathom. I'm going to try to show this to the camera. Two speed model 80 and I've got a top shot of I can't remember which one this is but it's either 80 or 100 pound test line definitely nef nothing less than 80 and 100 is better um, so go with what you have and then the rig is pretty simple uh, it's just uh, bait fishing but what you've got is you're going to be right on the bottom so you've got to have a sinker the crew will advise you minimum of 16 ounces if the bait is a little bigger or there's a little more wind or current you might need 24 ounces or more the crew will again will advise you and there's a couple of different ways to attach the hook, uh, the three different ways, and it's really just uh, what your favorite is. Uh, sometimes, uh, well, you're gonna tie a dropper loop that's about two feet, two, two and a half feet, and the, the camera can't really pick that up, but that is a four-turn surgeon's knot. And I believe last year, Art actually did a little short video on how to tie that, um, but YouTube is filled with videos of how to tie the four turn surgeon's knot. So we're not gonna do that here, just look them up and that's what that is. Two, two and a half feet is about right. If you plan ahead, you can actually put the hook inside the loop. And that's one good way to do it. A lot of people like that. And by the way, the hook is not a small live bait hook. It's a nice big, that I believe is a 6.0 J hook. Sometimes if the bait is big, you can go up to an 8.0 or a 9.0 or larger. And uh, the other ways that you can do it, um, when you, if, you, if you forget to put the hook inside the line like that, uh, after you tie your loop, you can just tie a standard uh, four-turn uni knot. Really, whatever your favorite knot is, is, is fine. Now, one that you don't always see, and it's a little bit, little bit tricky, and I know that it, it's sort of an oxymoron to say that if you want to be a little bit more finesse with your 100-pound rig, I know that sounds weird, you can do what they call, sometimes call a pattern oster, which means you're gonna clip one leg, just leave one leg real short, that makes the other leg much longer, and then what you do, I'm not gonna do it on camera, is you tie your hook on right to the end with, again, your favorite knot, and now you've got, instead of a double line, you've got a longer single line so your bait can swim around, be a little bit more active, and a fish that's a little bit finicky uh, might be easier to fool, again, while you still have your 80 or your 100 pound rig. So you're gonna drop this down to the bottom, you're gonna leave it in gear, and when a big yellowtail bites it, you are gonna know all about it. And this is not a light tackle technique, other than what I just showed you, it's not a finesse technique, but when the yellowtail are 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds, which they sometimes are on those longer trips, again, if you're fortunate to be on a six to eight day trip on the searcher, this is gonna be a very, very popular rig for you to use. So we'll see you out there on the searcher. Thanks a lot.